guys, what is up? It is me, Mo. Welcome back once again. I just had the best raid that I've ever had. Um, and it is definitely because of the boosting of the collectors. This raid was ridiculous. Let's go ahead and look at this thing right up here at the top, guys. 600,000 gold, 600,000 elixir, and 435 dark elixir. That's 1.2 million. I've never had a raid like that. Thank you so much, Supercell, for letting us boost our collectors because that means for the farmers who want to go out and crush some people while they're offline, um, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So why don't we go ahead, jump back in here, and review this thing because it was a three-star, 1.2 million resource raid. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Comment below on the best raid you have had during this um, awesome awesome boosting period in time but as you can see i am running giant healer i drop my giants off up here with my wall breakers as well as my barbarian king and a bunch of archers to take out um, those clan castle troops they are gone in a matter of seconds my healers are now down um, helping keep up my barb king and my giants which you know i appreciate um, so i am slowly dropping a couple other archers around the map as you can see just to help start taking things out and then thankfully i had a dragon in my um, clan castle which which helped out a lot I knew that it was in there so it wasn't a surprise um, and I'm happy that I used it because 1.2 million resources is a whole lot so now I'm dropping these archers down here in a mass to help take out that air defense before it starts shooting at the dragon or the healers and now those archers are just going to continue doing whatever they do and um, I'm not too worried about the air defense at the top quite yet because um, none of my flying troops, my healers, or my dragons are ever there. But um, let's drop down some archers up there anyway, see if we can get them in there so that they can take it out because my giants are getting closer up there and I do want to make sure that my neither my healer nor my dragons get taken out. Um, so if you guys don't run giant healer or you never have before, you should definitely try it. It really is a patience-based raid where you drop your giants and you let them just run around for a little while, um, really do work, and let the healers keep them up. And then the rest of your troops, you kind of deploy, um, not a, not all at once or anything like that. You deploy them around the base to help take out buildings. Um, and as the area, as the giants clear a path, you can drop off your, your archers and your barbarians and minions and goblins and whatever else behind them so that they can follow them and destroy the rest of the buildings. Um, but as you can see, this raid went flawlessly. I have a dragon left over. My barbarian king has full health, as do the majority of my giants. And we are going down here to this last lonely builder's hut to take it out. There it is, guys. Poor little Sarah Ko from the Golden Horde just got annihilated. She's going to wake up $1.2 million poorer. That's a word. <laughs> um, but guys, that is an awesome raid for me this morning because I am definitely still trying to work hard on upgrading everything that I can. Um, my wizards are almost there. I just have two more to get up to level six. This one is uploading. Uploading. <laughs> that one is upgrading right now. Um, and then I have one level 10 cannon right there. This one's on its way up to level 10 as well. I'm going to be here for a while because I am gonna. I might max out my walls to um, 8. Oh, gosh, that's going to be really, really hard, but I'm thinking about doing it. But anyways, guys, that was a 1.2 million resource raid. Throw a like down below if you think that's awesome because I most certainly do. Um, subscribe if you haven't, guys. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later.